QU24 and Reaper set up. First thing you want to do is go into setup. Go into control. Set them all to MIDI. And then you want to go into MIDI. You want MIDI channel 1, MIDI DAW control channel 2. Also, go back to custom layer. And you can hit that custom layer only button. Once you get everything set on your tracks, when you go to record, you want to hit custom layer only. When you go to set each track <clears throat> before you hit the custom layer button you want to set each track uh, volume on your reaper to minus 18 db and when you do that you go through or you do one track at a time do your first track you hit the select button okay you want to be on processing and what you want to do is you want to hit each drum or whatever you have into that channel or your drum or whatever yeah you hit this local volume and then you adjust it with this knob here and uh you watch your track volume in Reaper get around 18, minus 18. And you don't want to go much over that. Then you do the next channel and the next channel. You do each one the same and you name them as you go. In the board and in Reaper. And that's pretty much it. And once you get all that set, uh, when you do playback, you're not going to hear anything. You got to hit preamp. And then you'll be able to hear your playback. Now in Reaper, <clears throat> when you set this up, here's how your settings are supposed to be. To get this to integrate, I usually go from the top, audio device settings. Here's your setting for, you know, device. MIDI settings, that's what I have it set on. And then you want to scroll down on your left window. Go down to control. And you want to add. And when you do, this is what pops up. And you want Mackie Control Universal. And then for the first one, I did MIDI 1, MIDI 1, and I had 0. And then I hit OK. And that created this guy. And there it is. So I'm going to show you the settings for the next ones. You're just going to add each one and do the same exact thing. So here's the next one. You can see surface off track or offset tracks is eight. Dull control MIDI two, and that's your sections of eight tracks. You have three sections on this 24. Here's your first section, one through eight. See the blue line after eight? That's your first section. Nine through 16, see the blue lines between eight and nine and the blue line between 16 and 17? That's your next eight section, nine through 16. And that's all set tracks, eight. <coughs> So then you got your third one, offset tracks 16, and that's these guys from 17 to 24, and that's your third MIDI section. I'm guessing uh, the 32 channel version, you'd, you'd add another one of these, 
or maybe two, but uh, this is how I have this set for 24. Another thing, first thing you want to do is download your DAW controller, and then you have to set it to open every time you start your computer. So here's your DAW control. Yeah. Let's see, let me right click, show preferences. This is your settings for that. You have to download this and install it. And when you move a fader, you should see blinking down in the left on the right hand corner there on the dog control. That lets you know it's working. Uh, let me see what else. That's about it. I mean, you want to set that up to, to work when your computer starts up by system preferences. And you want to go to user groups. And then you want to go to login items. And then you want to add that doll control in there. I, mean, I, I don't have to unlock this to do this, but if that's what you got to do, then there it is. And then you go through and you find your doll control. When you click it and you click add, all that good stuff, and then you'll get this. Then you just close the window out, you're good to go. That's it. Mac desktop.